Hi, I'm Karen Rose, and this is another episode of The Story Behind the Story. And today I'm going to be talking about Count to Ten, which is my sixth book and part of my Chicago series. And Count to Ten is the story of Mia Mitchell, who you meet in an earlier book. She is the um, partner of the hero in I'm Watching You. And her hero's name is Reed Saladay, and Reed is an arson investigator. And so I, when I first started this book, I wanted to write a story about fire. And um, as a former scientist, I really had a, a, a lot of interest in not just fire, but in the methods of um, detecting arson and investigations. And so I did a lot of research. Um, was, was one of the first books where I was a little bit afraid that the FBI would show up on my doorstep because I did a lot of research on do-it-yourself sites like anarchy.com. You know, how do you make a fuse? How do you make a bomb? Um, and I found one of my most interesting um, pieces of information at the public library. I had gone to the library and I was looking up um, textbook, handbook on arson investigation and firefighting in general. And I found a book by an arson investigator who had written about a series of arsons in Philadelphia back um, before 2000. And in this story, the, you know, in this, in this case, the, um, the bad guys, the arsonist took legs, eggs, if you remember the old plastic eggs, and they filled them with um, a mixture of polyurethane, like you used to, 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 you know, to, to, you know, treat floors, polyurethane and a couple other things. And then they made homemade, um, homemade, homemade fuse. They would toss it, they would light it, they would toss it in a window of a warehouse. And this was like arson for insurance. And the poly, the, the, the leg, the legs egg would crack and all of the polyurethane would just spread. And that's how they started the fire. And um, I've really found that to be a real, a really interesting kind of a do it yourself um, arson kit. And so I ended up using that in the book. So the public library to the rescue.